Hey guys, how's it going? DUJ2 here and welcome back to Fortnite Save the World and welcome to this week's coming soon video. Day 615 for me logged in and okay, we have a lot to go over. Let's start with the tweet. So the first thing we have is a tweet that said take cover version 10.20 update is coming tomorrow downtime begins tomorrow august 27th at 4 a.m eastern as we all know 4 a.m eastern means 3 a.m central 2 a.m mountain 1 a.m pacific so if depending where you are in the united states in those times that is when the update is going to happen this is going to be a patch update so that means that we are going to see a downtime a download etc etc Will I be live tonight? I don't know. You never know. You never know what's going to happen. I might go live uh, I for sure. I will do a patch notes video and all that good stuff. Having said that, let me say real quick, thank you very much to everyone who came to the stream today. You guys are awesome. Today was my first official stream back after over two weeks of not streaming. Thank you very much, guys. I really appreciate it. Thank you very much for all of you who showed up, all of you who donated, subscribed, all that good stuff. You guys are awesome. Thank you very much. Equally, thank you very much, all of you guys using my creator code, especially right now with all the new stuff that's happening over in Battle Royale. I know a lot of people have been using it. Thank you very much. I really appreciate it. And if you're going to use it to buy uh, llamas here in Save the World, you can also do it. For those of you who keep asking me how to do that, all you got to do is go down here to where it says support a creator. Let me take this away. You hit support a creator here. You just put in DUJ2. Not like that. Like that. You hit accept and boom. There you are. Now you're supporting me. So thank you very much, all of you guys who are supporting me. Now, that tweet was for Battle Royale. This is the notification for Save the World where they kind of twist the words or they, um, I, you know what? I'm surprised they went this way. Get, hey everyone, get ready to harvest in style with the version 10.20 update. Now, you may be wondering, what do they mean by harvest in style? Well, that means this thing right here. <laughs> that is referring to the save the world cosmetic update number two which is coming tomorrow and it is bringing the pickaxes now we're going to talk a little bit more about this after we're going to talk a little bit more about this after but honestly that reddit post that said get ready to harvest a style i'm i'm surprised i'm surprised guys that they would go that route i'm surprised they would say about the pickaxes when we have so much cool stuff that's happening to save the world now i know i know this is this is me nitpicking. This is me maybe being a little bit ranty, whatever you want to call it. But honestly, for those of us who have been playing Save the World for over two years, for them to say, let me get, let me get this, let me get this right. Let me say this right because I I, I don't want to say it wrong. So for, for them to say, yes, subscribe, please. <laughs> for them to say, hey, everyone, get ready to harvest in style with the version 10.20 update. That that's great but look at all the cool stuff we have coming for save the world we have according to the save the world roadmap we have right here carbide returning a new narrative quest line a new rat hero complete a new narrative quest line to get the new rat the raddest hero of them all oh it's gonna be the major laser guy isn't it yeah a new trap a new llama <sighs> a new llama with uh, four new rad heroes and five boombox weapons and Quinn taking over the van again. Uh, and hopefully the twine tweaks, uh, those are going to be coming back too. Is it going to say? Um, yeah, the evolution materials and perks, all that. Hopefully that will also become. So with all of this, with all of this, they could have said, get ready to boogie down. Get ready to to feel the beat get ready to go rad get ready to anything they could have said all sorts of different things but they had to say the pickaxes that's a battle royale thing the pickaxes are great i'm not gonna you know i'm not gonna say look down at that thank you to all of you who have gifted me pickaxes you guys are awesome thank you so very much yes i do want to buy some pickaxes but actually for those of you who have been wondering I personally am saving most of my V bucks for when the shop opens and save the world. That's what I'm waiting for. Uh, I've decided to just hold on to my V bucks and wait until the 
the shop opens in Save the World so we can see if they're going to be bringing Save the World related things or Save the World exclusive or whatever they're going to do. <sighs> I know, I know. I, I'm a little, we'll talk about it after. So let's go over exactly what's coming tomorrow. Tomorrow, wow. So coming soon, coming tomorrow. Carbide will be returning. Um, I'm wondering if Carbide is returning probably in the weekly store or in the event store. Probably in the event store. It's very interesting we're getting all those Blockbuster and Rose Trip uh, heroes. A new narrative questline with a new rad hero. Complete the new narrative questline to earn the raddest hero of them all. I'm kind of thinking it's going to be that Major Laser guy. Is it Major Laser? I forget. But he's really cool. He's really cool. He looks awesome. Um, so hopefully it's going to be him but if it's going to be him that means it's also part of a quest line which means if it's part of a quest line with a new rad hero i don't think they're going to be starting twine a new twine storyline i don't think it's going to be a twine storyline i think this may be maybe the next part of the locks tales of a uh the locks adventures this could also be kind of like what we had when we had blockbuster or Fort Nightmares, you know, kind of like a whole new line, but it is a narrative quest line. So definitely we've got voice acting coming. We've got all that good stuff. Those are awesome. I always super, super enjoy those. I am kind of wondering what direction they're going to go for this one. Um, I don't know. I don't know. But obviously we're getting a new character. A new character is going to be introduced to home base. Heroes, man. Heroes are awesome. All right. The new trap. You can dance if you want to. You can leave those tusks behind. So this is going to be possibly a dancing trap. Husks step on it and they start dancing. I don't know. It sounds fun. Whatever it is, it sounds fun. And a new llama. What better to compliment the rat hero than the new rat llama? Exchange. 500 hit the road tickets and get your rock on with four new rat heroes and fine boom weapons now Today when I was streaming a lot of people were asking what do I want from the llamas? Well, first of all, we have no clue what's coming But I will tell you guys this right now as wonderful as these boom box weapons might sound I'm hoping for the, the heroes because the heroes are always the hardest thing to get the heroes are always the things that We don't know what those four rat heroes are gonna have are they going to have a new skill? Are they going to have a launcher crit rate? Are they going to have a pistol something? Or are, are they going to have are they going to have a launcher crit rate or crit attack? I, I don't know, guys. There's so much stuff there. There's so much that could happen. I can just hope. But that's what I hope for. I do have 5,000 tickets right now. I'm going to open myself 10 of these llamas as soon as they come out. That will be my first, you know, try of them. Uh, we're going to see what I get from those. I'm really excited to see what I get from those first 10 llamas that I open. And then it's just going to be grinding for tickets, which right now the only way we have is the Hit, Ro hit the Road event. And Quinn is coming for Hit the Road Part 2 of her adventure. Um, and it seems like... It seems like... We are going to get this, huh? It seems like the hit the road is probably going to last for the entire season. And the, well, what do we have right now? What are they called? They're not called rad tickets. What are they called? They're called hit the road tickets, but they've got the little boom box on there. So they've got, so that, that makes a lot of sense to that. Maybe the rad llama will continue for the entirety of season 10. I don't know. Five boom box weapons. You know what? As wonderful as these weapons may be, I always say this, guys, always just look towards the, the weapons in the weekly store. The weekly store weapons or event store if they ever put them there. But the new weapons that they bring out are usually the most powerful. Those are the ones we're still using. I mean, if you look at my inventory right now, you guys will be able to see pretty much every single powerful weapon that I'm using right now is from the store. Like if you look up there. Practically every single weapon that I'm like right now. I'm in love with the Pulsar 9000 using it like crazy. I use well, actually that was the duet. Yeah, I think the duet was from the store too. Most of these weapons are going to be coming from the store. So very, very important to pick those up, you know, grind the game, get the gold, get those weapons there. That doesn't mean that there can't be some secret that can't be some little hidden gems in the in the new llamas. We're going to have to wait and see for those all right so that's it for what's coming soon 
I gotta I gotta wrap up by saying this though. Um, for those of you who know, we do know that potentially there is gonna be this right here, the twine tweaks again. Um, for the they did say that it didn't work in 10.2 10 guys, but they did say that in 10.20 it's gonna work, and this is gonna be in the upper half of twine there of twine are going to reward evolution and perk materials far more often and the quantities of perk materials that they reward will be scaled up considerably we know that in 10.10 .10, they did this change supposedly but we quickly found out that it was no more than a five percent increase that's nothing i've said this before in the level 140 mission if you're gonna do a if you're gonna do let's say a a four times mission okay a four times level 140 mission with quad with four legendary perk ups in there that should be at least at least 500 guys 500 125 each one at a level 140 that's just my suggestion that's what i think it should be you know what <clears throat> want to make it fair make it 140 if you do a level 124 mission and it's got a legendary perk up, give us 124 for it. If you're doing a 108, give us 108. Just make that the base. If it's epic, do it one and a half times. You know what I mean? Just, I, I feel that, that that's a really, really good solid thing. Today, we did several level, uh, we did several encampment missions with raindrops. We did a level 108 that gave us 50 something. And we did a level 140 that gave us 60 something. I kind of feel that a level 100 or 108 encampment mission with with raindrops should give you 150. And I feel that a level 140 should give you like 250. It's time that that all compares and matches the incredible quantities they gave us in XP. If you guys remember when they did the XP change, we went from getting 40 XP to 600,000 XP per mission. It was crazy. It was a, it was at least a four times or a five times, you know, multiplication uh, of XP. So I kind of feel like that's where they need to go. That is where they need to just direct that attention to the evolution materials. But anyway, I'm going to leave it there, guys. Yes, I'm going to admit, I, I completely admit it again. When I saw that thing, when I saw the, uh, when I saw the news, oh yeah, locker. Uh, when I saw the news and, and that that Reddit that said get everyone get ready to harvest in style I was like that just sounds like you're trying to bring over battle royale players. Don't get me wrong That's not bad. I don't think that's bad I think battle royale players in this game is a really good thing bringing you more new players, but You've got such a large community and a lot of them are leaving a lot of lot a lot of veteran save the world players are just leaving the game because because they're not feeling the love and something like that really shows it you know it's like why not say get ready to get rad or a brand new llama or anything like that <sighs> anyway i'm gonna leave it there guys thanks a lot for watching i'll see you guys next one where we will have i guess the next video will be the patch notes you never know i might go live i might stream i just realized i forgot to tweet that i went live today i'm so bad about that <laughs> follow me on twitter if you guys want to see when i do go live because you guys know youtube never notifies thanks a lot for watching guys as always i am duj2 if you guys enjoy what i do on my channel if you guys enjoyed this video please 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 do me a huge favor and have yourself a wonderful day thanks a lot for supporting me guys and i'll see you guys in the next one see ya